I work for Helm and Titan doing a level three tool making apprenticeship. I was interested in engineering and I seen it as an option in school, so I did that in school. I found out about the apprenticeship for a family friend and then he told me about it and I just inquired. I did one interview and then uh, did like a little trial, two day trial, and then he got my mum and dad around the factory. But the company makes uh, injection mold tools, also they do cable management. Cable management like cable ties and uh, stuff for when you're doing electrics. I chose this apprenticeship because it's uh, so engineering is always like good pay. And it, when I actually looked into it, it just looked like the best thing to do. I, I like new technology and stuff like that. So it did just fit, like pretty much fitted what I wanted to do. The apprenticeship's five years long and I'll be a qualified tool maker after them five years. I used to go to college uh, one day a week and then I did a six month starting period. I've done a level three in operations maintenance, but now uh, I'm going back to do a, another course. The role that I do is to uh, make the actual injection mold tool, which actually molds apart. So that's what we do in the tool room. My job is actually to run the machines to get the final product, which is a tool. The tools that we actually make in the tool room, they actually make the cable tie by injecting the plastic into the mold tool and then when it opens your cable tie falls out. Uh, we got high speed millers, we uh, program on the computer and then send it to the machine and then it, it runs for hours. I couldn't run up to like a day. The hours I do are uh, 8 till half 4 and uh, I'm normally on different machines every day working at different jobs. It's always a different day when I come in but I'm always working to a high tolerance. I've got a mentor who uh, just helps through it all the way. He's like the guy I go to all the time now. We've got a list of what tools are coming in like next, so whatever tools next on the list, we just uh, I'd get a job for my mentor and then uh, he'll sort me out what I should do. But I think learning about this job is a lot more technical because uh, the tolerance he's working to, but it's a lot more rewarding because he's making a tool yourself. I had an interest in technology and how stuff works anyway, but I didn't realise it'd be this technical and high tech. You've got to have an interest in engineering and technology if you want to be an engineer. It's, it's all revolved around new technology. I think you've got to be on the ball all the time. You've always got to be concentrating. So if you, if you mess, you could just press one wrong button and that's it. It's, it costs 20 grand. So you've got to be mature to be an engineer. Uh, yeah, I think it's a good opportunity for me. I'm just going to hopefully progress to be a fully qualified tool maker. If you do get an apprenticeship, that's this good, you should just take it. So, yeah, I was looking for apprenticeships uh, like every single day before I come here. And luckily I got this one, it's probably the best one. The company's got like a lot of different companies in Germany and stuff, so and if you're a tool maker, you, you want it anywhere. The best thing about the job is uh, you actually get your final part and you've made it. You look at it and say, yeah, I made that. It's, uh, it's, yeah, probably the best bit. I think it's probably a good trade to get into, but you've got to be wanting to do it and actually want to go to work every day and actually do engineering. I think, I think it's, uh, I enjoy it anyway. It's probably the best thing I've done.